Hi, everybody. Are you ready? Whenever is the news media not willing to say we're ready? Good morning. Are you ready? Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. We have a very exciting announcement to make today. We were all disappointed to learn that the annual concert and fireworks show at Memorial Park would not be held this year. For 30 years, this has been one of the largest free concerts in our region, always sponsored by generous Omaha business sponsors and, do and donors. Two weeks ago, I received an amazing phone call and an offer. A donor who wants to remain anonymous will provide all of the funds that we need so the show will go on. Uh, so with a new name though this year, and the new name is the City of Omaha Celebrates America. The concert and the fireworks show will be held on June 29th, or June 28th, excuse me, it will be held on June 28th at the same great venue at Memorial Park. The concert will begin with a local favorite, The Firm, and then a fabulous performance by Little Stevie and the Disciples of Soul, featuring a lead sing singer, St excuse me, I'm tongue-tied today, featuring lead singer Stephen Van Sant, a founding member of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. The Omaha World Herald called Little Stephen's show at the Holland Performing Arts Center last year one of the year's best concerts. In 2017, he released his first new album in over 15 years entitled Soul Fire, which was named one of Rolling Stone's best albums of 2017. He is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and he has played the Super Bowl's halftime show. His 2019 tour includes performances in Australia, Europe, Canada, and in the United States. The Omaha concert will follow uh, shows in Barcelona, Paris, and also Milan. This Friday, Little Stephen and the Disciples of, Sto of Soul will release Summer of Sorcery, his first album of all original material in 20 years. Rolling Stone calls his nationally syndicated radio show, Underground Garage, the most exciting thing to happen to rock and roll radio in years. MTV calls him the coolest DJ in the country. And if that's not enough, he also has a TV career co-starring in all seven seasons of The Sopranos as Silvio Dante, a character that he created, and what a resume he has. And there's more. We have another performer in the works, and that announcement will be coming soon. After the concert, you will see a fireworks show even bigger and better than it has been in the past. Radio partner CD 105.9 will provide music soundtrack. Our Great Parks Department has made Celebrate America concerts successful for the last 30 years. Our Parks Director Brooke Bench is here to announce a partnership to raise money for flood relief during this year's concert. Brooke? Thank you, Mayor Stothert. Uh, your relationships with uh, Omaha's philanthropic community is so important, and because of those relationships, this concert was made possible this year and continues to be a free event for the community. So thank you, Mayor. Mm -hmm. Memor Memorial Park has been home to this concert for over 30 years. It's been an annual event that has truly showcased one of Omaha's finest parks. It's an event that has unified the Omaha community and has been a staple for our many concert goers year after year. The Parks Department feels fortunate that Memorial Park has been home to one of Omaha's most memorable events and, and will continue to be home for this event for years to come. The Omaha Parks Foundation, a longtime partner of the Parks Department, has signed, up, signed on to help make this concert happen so quickly. The Omaha Parks Foundation is an independent 501c3 that enlists the help of individuals, corporate donors, and other charitable foundations in efforts to conserve and enhance the city's parks and green spaces. They are a passionate foundation that works with donors on their visions for improving the Omaha Parks and Recreation System. Most recently, the Omaha Parks Foundation has assisted our department with various tree plantings and playground improvements. Our department is grateful to hear the, the Memorial Park concert has been revived and pleased to announce that the concert itself will provide an opportunity for a great giving Omaha community to make a positive difference to help those affected by the flooding throughout the state. Uh, now I'd like to introduce Vic Gutman with Vic Gutman Associates. 
Thank you, Brooke. Thank you, Mayor. Um, it's our privilege and honor to participate in the concert this year by providing the management needed to produce it. I want to recognize Heidi Walls, who's in the back there, who's the project manager, and stepped up after three retirements at VGA to uh, make sure this, uh, this concert continues. Um, it has become truly uh, a tradition in this community. When the news came out that the concert was not going to happen this year, uh, in part because of flood relief efforts, there were two responses. One is, say it ain't so, and the other is, at least we're glad that, that money is going to flood relief. Well, in Omaha, you can actually have both. Uh, you can have the concert and bigger and better than ever, but also uh, we're going to dedicate this concert uh, to the flood relief efforts that are going on throughout, uh, throughout the state. Uh, I want to emphasize uh, what an honor it is to have Stephen Van Zant um, and the Soul Disciples to uh, be our headliner this year. Uh, Stephen both is a, a music from decades ago and continues to be uh, dynamic in his music with new CDs coming out, new music. Um, so the E Street Band, uh, the Asbury Jukes for those of us who go back that far. Um, he is an institution uh, of music in his own right, a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, and not only that, but he is a philanthropist. Uh, he established the Rock and Roll Forever Foundation and the Teach Rock program, which provides music curriculum that touches on history and science and English uh, through the learning of music. Uh, and provides this curriculum for free to teachers throughout the country. In fact, when he was here uh, uh, last year, he was here to recruit teachers to participate in this program, and he gave uh, one of the top concerts um, of, of the city um, as he was doing that. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, we do have another major act that we will be announcing likely this week. We just need to sign the contract. And uh, we have a great local act called The Firm, which has been around for 40 years, uh, 40 plus years in Omaha, performing uh, your favorite music, cover music, uh, through the decades. And uh, they will be our first performers at the concert. Um, we have a Facebook page uh, that's going live and a website, Memorial uh, Park, uh, let me make sure, memorialparkconcert.com, uh, and that is uh, live probably as we speak, and we will be providing details about rules and regulations <coughs> relating uh, to, the, uh, to the concert uh, on both the Facebook page and also on our website. As has been discussed, um, the city has stepped up to ensure that this concert uh, continues to uh, be an Omaha favorite uh, this year and into the future, but also wanted to dedicate uh, the concert to flood relief. And we are very fortunate to be working with the Nebraska Farm Bureau Foundation, uh, where 100 percent of all the donations go to um, uh, flood relief. None of it goes toward administrative. And we have here today the president of the Nebraska Farm Bureau, Steve Nelson, to speak about his partnership with us and the flood relief effort. Thank you. I'll put that down. Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone. The Nebraska Farm Bureau Foundation is honored to have been selected as the disaster relief partner for the Memorial Park concert. Nebraska Farm Bureau established a disaster relief fund at the Nebraska Farm Bureau Foundation to provide aid for Nebraska farmers, ranchers, and rural communities affected by the storms and flooding. To date, the disaster relief fund has provided feed, water, and medicine for livestock, drinking water for schools without running water, emergency living expenses, hotels, rent, and mortgage assistance, utility repair for people, uh, all of whom have been displaced by uh, the weather and floodwaters. 
rock and gravel supplies and repairs for roads, fences uh, needed to access homes, and uh, care for livestock as well. Also included have been assistance with large equipment rentals to help clear debris from farm fields. <coughs> and finally, monetary distributions to families who are beginning the long process of cleaning up and rebuilding. As was said earlier, 100% of the donations will be distributed to those in need. The Nebraska Farm Bureau Foundation will charge no administrative fees. Concert goers can support relief efforts by a text message a campaign that will take place the day of the concert at the Nebraska Farm Bureau booth that will be available and be set up the day of the concert or any time starting today by going to memorialparkconcert.com again memorialpark dot uh, memorialparkconcert.com the need is immense about a hundred uh, about 1.4 billion dollars of losses has taken place because of the storms that have happened across Nebraska. There are many folks in need and certainly this fund will not meet all of the needs but we're there to help providing some uh, first of all some uh, emergency needs at the very beginning and today we're working to provide intermediate needs and we will continue to help support the long-term needs of farmers and ranchers and rural communities that have been affected by uh, this historic disaster. So again, thank you uh, very much for including us in this and, and uh, we certainly appreciate all you're doing. Ms. Mayor. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much, everyone that's here today. We talk frequently about our valued philanthropic partners in Omaha and how lucky we are to have friends and donors that help make Omaha an extraordinary city. Um, I see Councilman Festerson's here today too. Memorial Park is in his district and I know he is just as thrilled with all of us up here that the, the show will continue to go on this year. So there we go. <laughs> In fact, he was even offering to play the drums himself. But, but anyway, we are all happy to take any of your questions right now about the City of Omaha Celebrates America Concert. Is Bill Seaver going to be the headliner? Is he the headliner or the other actor going to be the headliner? I, you can answer that. Sure. Uh, <laughs> little Stevie will be the last act considered the headliner. But uh, there's one other major national act that, that will proceed. It will be two. Well, it'll be two of them. There are really right. two national acts. But Stevie will be, uh, and the Soul Disciples will be the last act before the fireworks. Uh -huh. Mayor, how much is the private donation? Um, I, I'm not at liberty to tell you at this moment because we really don't have all the cost um, that we have um, determined as of yet. Um, but this donor has stepped forward and has is willing to pay the entire cost. Um, the getting trying to get some talent um, at the last minute uh, obviously was difficult and very expensive. And uh, thanks to this very very generous donor, all of those expenses will be covered. And actually, could be multiple donors mm -hmm. as as well. Okay, so it's multiple donors or one donor? Right now, so right now we have one donor and one single donor that has said that they will, they will pay for the entire concert. Um, we will, before now, in the concert, uh, see if we can get other donors also. But right now, everything is covered with one donor. <clears throat> is this a one-off of the city taking charge, or is, will this be an annual thing now? with the city taking control of this concert. Right, and that's important to explain because people do think that this concert was a City of Omaha concert in the past and it was not. Um, of course, it was held in one of our parks, but we were not the producers of this concert this year for the first time, and it's in your press release. We will be, and of course, the City of Omaha wants to assure the long-time sustainability of this concert to keep on happening year after year. And so we will continue to be part of it and continue to work, and we're going to start working right after this concert's over on, on what we will do next year. But we want it to continue on, and the City of Omaha will be a partner with this from now on. May I add one thing, is sure. that in past years and this year, uh, there's always been budget to pay for the police and to pay for uh, city uh, involvement uh, to help make it happen and that's also budgeted again for this year so all of the costs associated with the concert 
will be paid for out of private funds, uh, none of it from the city. Um, Mayor, can you talk a little bit about uh, how close it came to not happening? I mean, there was a, there was a time there where you clearly mm -hmm. argued it wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we, we got the announcement, like everybody else did, that they were canceling mm -hmm. the show this year. I think all of us uh, immediately started talking, well, were there any other options? Uh, I know I talked to Councilman Festerson. He was trying to thinking about getting a group together to talk about it. But then, like I said, um, just a few weeks ago, I got a phone call and a donor, and, um, and it just answered everything that we were working on. And so it was a surprise to me that the one donor stepped forward, but incredibly grateful that this has happened and happened so quick. Like I said, getting obtaining this talent also at a late time. Vic worked on it. I know last weekend I heard you were working Saturday and Sunday. And While this, I was in New Orleans. <laughs> I know this, this is not easy to do, to get somebody of this caliber um, like Steven Van Zandt in this short period of time. And when you hear who the other talent will be, you're going to be very excited about that too. I'm getting a prompt from Heidi if she feels we're not emphasizing the fireworks enough. Uh, I know you mentioned okay. it, Brooke. Uh, Brooke mentioned uh, kind of enhanced fireworks display, and that's what it will be. It's, uh, uh, it's going to be a much larger display than we've ever had at Memorial Park. It'll be longer, a lot more impactful. Um, we use the same fireworks company that does the Holiday Lights Festival. This will be even much bigger than the New Year's Eve fireworks. Um, so uh, you'll be able to see it from all around the area. Uh -huh. And we know that people won't want to miss this concert or the incredible fireworks display that will follow the concert. Mary, is the donor from Omaha? Can you, can you disclose that? The, the donor is a member of our philanthropic community. Yes. With all the local bands available, why did you pick the firm as the opening act? Well, the firm has been around for 40 plus years. I'm sure you're familiar with all, uh, and, and I know them very well. Uh, uh, it started out as the firm because all of them were lawyers at one time who were in it. Uh, and it just seemed like the kind of music that they play, the cover uh, music that they play, uh, um, and they play here, they play in Okaboji, they would be a great uh, opening, local opening act. Other questions? Are there yeah. any, any plans for the city to pay for more than what it's paying right now in the future? And was there any commitment with the private donor to funding anything into the future? No, the but like I, no, no, but like I said, we, we want to now that this is the first year that this is a City of Omaha event, um, we want to assure that it, it is sustain, sustainable and it will continue in the future. Um, but, you know, right now we were really uh, doing a lot of work seven days a week to try to get this all pulled together for this year. Uh, we will start working on the logistics of next year's concert after this one is over. Get Vic right on. <laughs> we already have the talent lined up for next year. <laughs> Why do you... Uh, why do you think there was so much uh, support from the community to try and um, uh, put this show back on? Like I said, this has been a major event in Omaha for 30 years now. And it's one of the largest free concerts in the entire region. As you see it every year at Memorial Park, I would say 50 to 75,000 people okay. attend this free concert. They start putting their blankets out early in the morning. People enjoy it. It's a family-friendly event. They bring kids. They have a great time there. It's safe. And I think if people were really disappointed and sad to hear the announcement that it was canceled for this year and it wouldn't happen. And so to be able to announce this today, to say it will happen on the regularly scheduled date, regularly scheduled time that we had it before, and the entertainment is going to be great, and uh, the fireworks are, is going to be better than ever, it's a great announcement that we could make this in such a short period of time to make sure that this concert continues for everyone in Omaha that truly enjoys it. You're pretty quiet today. Carrie gave you a press release. It has a lot more of the details in it um, that explains a lot about the talent and about the concert itself. Any other questions? 
stay tuned this week. We'll oh, have yes. this announcement about the second performer, likely this week at the latest early next week. Okay. No more questions? Okay, we're good then. Thank you all. Thank you for being here.